esteemed guests on the dais, Dr. Sinha, Professor Kamalkar, Mr. Natasha, Dr. Anand, my colleague Sanjay, and resource persons for our upcoming sessions, academics, and education sector stakeholders, invited guests, and friends from media and student delegates. Friends, just now my colleague Sanjay Jana was so passionate, I, mean, I know him for almost last 40 years. And uh, he's always like that. And he's very passionate about the things, about our richness, about our state. As a student also, I've seen him. So we, he always argued and the logic that we should take pride in our things, which people don't know. I mean, we ODS normally a bit shy. I mean, lack confidence in ourselves and about strength and all. But that is the strength he has. We are just a two-year-old organization, Media House. But before that, this was a YouTube platform, which uh, my colleague Sanjay has started out four years before. And later on, after getting good response, good vibe from the followers and viewers, we thought that we should make scale it up. And then it's just two years before we started make it a full-fledged satellite channel. We are youngest channel in the state. But um, as rightly said, we are the fastest growing channel in the state. We're known for our responsible and fearless journalism. For that, many of my colleagues in the last two, three years have faced a lot of problems in the ground, but um, they're not scared. We are there with them. And thank you very much for all our viewers for their support to getting us good response, making us the fastest moving channel in the state. And we'll continue to do that. Thank you again for my viewers. As mentioned, I mean, we started this mission to always be there with the people issues, with the people and raising their issues. The, I mean, whatever possible format, whether it is satellite, digital and all, and we are continuing that. We always appeal our viewers to come forward, open up their mind. Argus will be always there to be their voice, to lend it to the right audience and the policy makers. And in just two years, we have taken our reporters from the ground, they've taken many initiatives. I mean, it's a very long list. It is a, you can see the, I mean, very proud feeling that we, the impact, Argus is terrible. I mean, people have gone after one month, two months, things have changed in those districts. I mean, people have welcomed us like anything. So that gives us confidence. Besides covering regular news, I mean, being a news platform, to bring the pride feeling, to add value to people's life, to get in touch with a common man's issues. We have always done some special programs like we are here today. So whether it be it agriculture, be it health, be it education, be it women empowerment. Last just two years we have done around seven conclaves and programs, special programs. Got good response. I mean, only because of through these programs we are able to communicate what we are doing, sirs and ma'ams. We're getting new people to here, to this place, and um, I mean, uh, take your uh, views and experiences and disseminate the audience. Otherwise, we just become a local media house. We want to empower the people of Odisha, I mean, meet their aspirations. So that's why these programs, and after having us last year on education here we are in season 2 and next edition I mean, we all know that whether it is Gurukul days of India rich or the Takshila Nalanda rich history what we have read from history and in our books the education system has undergone a 
significant transformation over the years. And even though we have embraced technology to democratize education, dissolving borders and reaching minds even in the remotest corners, but still there are a lot of issues. Recently, just a month before, Dr. Sinha has uh, brought out a book very relevant today. I mean, it is almost, I was just telling him, that book is what exactly we want everybody to read and this is the purpose of this conclave also. He said that uh, just don't study, I mean you learn, that's his book, I mean you all should go through that book. We are very proud that we have Dr. Sina. I mean very short notice, he's here, he's agreed and all our esteemed guests and our upcoming sessions also. We are very, I mean, interesting and uh, diversified uh, people from different um, segments. They will be talking on our different aspects of education. And this is advent, I mean, introduction of this new education policy 2020. There are many things coming up, but there are a lot of confusion, chaos, right? Dr. Sinha in his book has said that not just we as a common man, even students, parents, even education institutions, they are very confused how to do, I mean, um, disseminate things. It's so changing. One of my friends, his uh, son joined engineering, sir, last week. I mean, uh, they said he's attending college, he's there in the campus, but uh, because of attendance shortage, they are not allowing him to attend the exams. He said, Ki, why are you not going? So he said, um, I don't see the content and the teachers, professors, interesting. I know everything. Children are exposed to so much thing. I mean, education is there on everybody's hand, mobile and all. So unless otherwise the even education institutions or academicians upgrade themselves, the old days of teaching process is gone. I'm sure all these people are here to share their views. I'm not an expert. I'm just a layman. I myself want to understand as an individual, as a media person or as a father, can we guide, I mean, the people are expecting a lot of sin and more so, being a media house, this is our primary responsibility to disseminate the right thing to our viewers through all these day-long sessions. I mean, the experts, they will be sharing things which I think we can add value to the people's, our viewers' things in the, and uh, I'm sure it will be enlightening and educative morning for all of us. And Argus will disseminate these contents in different formats to our viewers. So have a nice day, long session. Thank you. Thank you all.